Okay, so today we're gonna go through a uh, what's in my baseball bag video. Uh, I should say what's my baseball slash slow pitch bag. Um, this is it, okay? It's small. I'm actually looking for something bigger because it doesn't actually fit everything. Um, a couple bats that don't actually go in. We just carry those separately. And then I always walk into our games just wearing um, turf shoes. So, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, to start, um, I emptied the bag of all my gloves. We're going to go through those after. Um, kind of save the best for last. But we'll go through the pockets. This pocket here. All batting gloves. Um, I have a ton because I uh, I don't just carry my own. I kind of am like the... I just end up being the guy who carries everyone's stuff. I'm like a ball boy. But in reality, um, no, I just carry everyone's stuff because I have a bag and they don't want to have a bag. They don't have a bag. Blah, blah, blah. These Franklin batting gloves. Um, actually, really nice batting gloves. They The reason I like them so much is because they don't actually have any padding. But they did start to wear away and that's only after, uh, that's only after one season. Um, and that's slow pitch, so that's really not many games. Um, another pair of Franklin batting gloves. I think these are, um, honestly, these are either this guy Tom or my brother-in-law's. Don't remember. Um, let's see. These ones are special, actually. These ones are pretty cool. Jack's batting gloves. I think they're awesome. Um, they're actually made by a guy who lives real nearby, actually, around uh, Carroll Stream, Illinois area. In any way... They're batting gloves and they got a webbed thumb and index finger. Um, like this would be for a righty, by the way. I hit lefty, but this is if you're a righty. On your top hand, it's just to get that like extra whip, pretty much. It, it, it gives you a little extra um, grip on it and a little power going through. And so, um, yeah, dingers, I guess. I'm a huge fan of it. I'm thinking about getting a pair, but we'll see. Here's a one-off batting glove I use sometimes when I just hit with one glove. I lost my other one, but I'm a lefty, so it's at least the bottom hand. Um, Adidas, I like these a lot. They're super comfortable, but haven't been used a ton, so can't give a huge review. These Easton batting gloves. <laughs> um, they don't look too hot. I'll, I'll put them on for you. There we go. Um... They look like this because of, now we lost a game, something I don't really remember, but I just, they were already torn to shreds. Basically, this is what it looked like. If you could, if I still had the pinky, this was all just a hole from just being worn. And so I just grabbed and ripped and grabbed and ripped and this is what they look like now. I think I need to just throw these away. All right, and my last pair of batting gloves. These are what I'm gonna be using next season, as of now. Um, they're Easton again. Uh, these Easton ones, the Velcro on them is like the strongest Velcro I've ever seen. They're pretty simple. Um, I forget what they're called. What's cool about them is, one, they're comfortable, and it's just a basic thin layer, which I like a lot. I have one, two, three, four more pairs of them, and I bought them, I bought them all for $15. Just some awesome lady was selling all five pairs for fifteen dollars so um they're like they're like twenty bucks each or something or maybe a little more maybe a little less i don't know twenty bucks each so to get them all for fifteen i was like okay next pocket seeds always a big fan of ranch spicy queso yes and what i don't have which is just they're so good is the Taco Bell Supreme. Oh my, just so good. I don't know a ton about bats, you guys. I'm not a huge bat guy, but when it comes to the actual uh, models and stuff, I'm not, I'm not super knowledgeable. But what I do know is, it says Freak 23. This thing is, it, it feels good to swing with. Um, but my only problem with it, um, it feels like it hits the ball pretty good, pretty much everywhere right here but on this thing this d marina you guys holy cow 
like it, it has that general good area as well but there's like a, a small little circle where if you hit it right there it's gone I mean it hits it, this thing can hit the ball so hard it, it flies off the bat if you hit it upright um, but like I said this thing isn't bad it just doesn't have that one sweet spot I haven't given it a chance in game but we've hit with it plenty just warming up this thing though I mean I've hit too many dingers with it to say uh, no to using I've got New Balance Turf Shoes. Um, I love these because uh, for slow pitch leagues, I'm not trying to switch cleats before each game. I just have these bad boys. Um, I love them because, like I said, you can wear them anywhere, you know. So I just put them on and go to the game. But they they actually they really do work. Um, I would say the only thing that really overpowers these things is wet, tall grass. If the grass is tall and wet, you're gonna die. Gloves, 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 gloves. Uh, I love gloves a little too much. Um, makes my wife angry sometimes. It's, it's just an awesome hobby to get more, break them in, um, even sell them. But, um, but yeah, when it comes to gloves, I'm a firm believer that they're not made to sit on a shelf. And I do like get really paranoid if somebody, you know, is dropping my glove and letting it sit on its side. I hate when somebody's letting it just sit here like this. But at the same time, uh, I want people to use them and I want them to be used. So I kind of balance between the two of letting people, you know, shove their hand in it. As long as they put it in the right way, you know, um, some gloves I wear to in the pinky, so I might wear straight up. As long as they do it right, go ahead. I'm going to start off with the ones I don't use. The ones that aren't necessarily mine that I use. Um, all of these gloves, except for, I think, two, are, are mine. All but two are mine. And then one is my little brother's, and the other one is actually my brother-in-law's. To start, um, not, not the greatest quality of a glove. It's a Rawlings Heritage Series. It's a XFG125S. It's 12 and a half inches basket web all tan and so it's a fastback model um it, it feels good for like a for just like people who love a pancaked glove who some somebody who just wants to be able to go like that you know it, it does feel good and that's why i keep it in my bag it's, it's an extra glove for somebody to use to be honest a pretty bad glove um this is my nine positions glove um small brand i saw on ebay for like 45 bucks and i thought hey why not it's like this glove is probably three years old but this is like this past year was the first time it got used and it got used in softball i'll show you the pocket because that's kind of why it stinks um, um like you throw it in the best you can and it it's still just got a gap and i mean this thing's gonna use a ton and the reason that is is because it's it's just got a plasticky feel that japanese like custom plasticky feel if you know what i mean um a lot of them have that kind of a feel to it and i'm not a huge fan um, not a huge fan of the web either, because webs like the, the big trapeze webs, when you don't have high quality laces, are just low quality webs. Low quality weight, li bleh, low quality laces will equal low quality web. That was, that was kind of hard to say. <laughs> but, not a huge fan of it, but I, I, I was actually, I like the yellow palm. That's kind of why I got it. It's, it's flashy. It's like, hey, right there. Rawlings, let's see, it's a Rawlings GGE 1275RB. Um, not bad, actually. Um, for the Gold Glove Elites, I would never use in baseball. Uh, just too cheap of leather. But for softball, I would actually recommend it. If you're somebody who likes softer leather, totally go for the Gold Glove Elites. Um, if you're doing slow pitch, they're actually a great glove. Um, you don't need as hard of leather. It's just much bigger of a ball. It's not going to fly through the laces or anything. So... Um, actually, yeah, my brother-in-law was using this at third, and yeah, it's actually my little brother's glove from a while ago, but, uh, my little brother can't use it anymore. Sorry, Josh, rest in peace to your eyes. Um, this is actually my brother-in-law's glove that he just got, like, um, a couple weeks ago. Um, let's see here, it's just, it's another Gold Glove Elite. Um, he's the one who used it, and so he liked it, and he got another one. It's a super clean look. I mean, it's gorgeous in my opinion the blonde stitching on it and the web looks great and so it's a gge 1275 hbcc 12 and three quarters h web 
um, awesome glove. I uh, for softball, I actually think it's great. Oh, almost forgot. There's this one too. Um, this is a Wilson A2K, just a straight up softball glove. It's 12 inches, A2K FP or something like fast pitch. Um, it's just a straight up softball glove. And so for the infield, um, I have it for anybody who wants to borrow it. I've let guys borrow it in the outfield, but I try to find more um, large gloves for them to borrow so that they don't <coughs> make any external errors. Um, my one buddy who was using this, I actually bought him a A2000 KP92. And that thing was actually really awesome. I, I was sad to let it go. Um, the only downside about the glove was it just smelled faintly of cigarettes, which stinks, but um, literally. But um, it was barely there. You had to get pretty close to uh, really recognize it. But it was perfectly broken, um, in infinite better condition than this thing. This thing has duct tape on it, but uh, this was actually a goodwill find, so you really can't complain. I love this thing. It's a Pro AJ10, uh, 12 and 3 quarter trepes. And so like I was saying, when you actually have good lacing, you can do webs like this and they work. Um, and this thing is gorgeous. I got this used, um, I, I got it pretty cheap. I think I bought it for like 135 and so um, can't complain at all, uh, at all. I love this thing. It, the, the, the Pro Preferred leather does feel great. It's got a little bit of a mesh back. Um, and it feels great. It does feel like it is, even with that mesh, it is a bit heavier of a glove, but um, in my opinion, the weight of a glove has never made me miss a play, I don't think. Um, I mean, maybe without me realizing, but mentally, it's, it's really not a problem. Now, my Pro 1000 HC. Um, this thing's 12 inches. I love this thing. This was my third base gamer in uh, baseball through high school, my senior year. It's just too small. It plays too small. It's a 12 that plays like 11 and a half. It's a it's a small glove, but um, but you can see it has a great pocket. Um, it's not the Horween. It is Japan tan, and uh, yeah, it's awesome. All right, this was my shortstop gamer for this last season. Um, it's a 44. Um, I am a I'm a big fan of 44. They do really good job really good job at um, just making gloves, making high quality gloves. And so um, this one, it was pretty funny. When I first got it, they posted the picture on their Instagram site. And I think like their first like three comments were all just making fun of how ugly it was. And so I agree, it took a bit of a risk, but um, everything on this glove that is mint, that mint color, was originally gonna be denim. It was originally gonna be denim. Um, 44 had shown that they have denim, but at the time it wasn't on the glove builder. And so I messaged them and I said, Hey, can you make everything? I think I put it in as Navy blue. I said, everything that's Navy blue, can you make denim? I would like it to be denim. And I was really going for like a cowboy look, um, with that. I mean, it would look, it would look, I think it would have looked fantastic. Um, didn't fall through. Yeah, they said, no, I don't even know. Just go mint. And they did it with mint and... I think it looks better in person, but um, overall, the most important thing is that it has a great feel. It's the JP11, it's 12 inches, it's got the hinge post web. I love this thing. I have another one over there with it. Uh, I love the hinge post web. Um, black palm, I want silver uh, stamping, the white patch. It's got a cross on it and it says mine because it is mine. And so, yeah, I love this thing. Um, it broke in really fast, surprisingly. Um, huge, I mean, huge pocket. Huger than like, just imagine Trump saying huge. That's how huge. Just look at how wide that glove is. But I need to tighten the laces because that's a little too much. And that's just from the end of the season, um, just taking ground balls and everything, blah, blah, blah. Um, this is the last one out of the stuff that I bring with me. Um, I actually just got this, so I hadn't been bringing this, but I'm going to be bringing it next year once it's not uh, 30 degrees out in Illinois. And this thing um, is gorgeous. It's the Gray Super Skin on Back. It's a 1799, 12.75 dollars um, H-Web. Um, man, I, I think it's just so good looking. And um, I picked this up new with tags and everything um, in the plastic wrapping, you know. Um, I picked this up 
for one one forty five. And so that was awesome. Great deal. Cannot complain about that. Um, but yeah, I might be using this at shortstop. I actually have a new glove coming in the mail. And so uh, if you want to see that, stay tuned. I will make an unboxing on that. But thank you for watching. Um, if you watched this far, uh, well, you should probably get a life. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, if you watch this far, that means you have an actual interest in gloves and in softball and in baseball. And man, it's my favorite sport. I love it to death. And so if you want more of this kind of stuff, uh, subscribe. And I will keep coming with it. Um, I don't know if you guys liked it, unless you show me by subscribing and hitting that like button, commenting, and whatnot. Um, so please encourage me and help me. If, if you thought I did a somewhat decent job, let me know. I almost forgot to tell you guys, I want to give you a little bit of a sneak peek at what I own when it comes to gloves. Um, and just so, it, I mean, if you want more videos in the future, I'll show you. I think I have around, I'm at cl almost 40, I'm close to 40, but um, that's all of them on the table. You really probably couldn't tell much from that, but I will show you more if you ask for it.